All right, we're live. Oh, there's people here already. Who's here? I can see there's six people. Thanks for coming in. We'll let it, uh, everybody else join in. It's just five o'clock here now. Thanks for coming, everybody. It says we have seven people here. So, oh, Nadia's here. Hey, Nadia. How was your day today? I was talking to you on Facebook earlier, teaching the kids. Who else is here? Are you hungry? Are you, what are you having for dinner, Nadia, before we get started? My wooden spoon. Oh, Stella. Hey, Stella. Freddie's here. Oh, cool. Everybody's showing up. That's awesome. Hopefully, everybody had a good day. Today was a good day here. I had some work to do, so that was kind of nice. Took up most of the day, and I'm starving, so that's uh, good that we're cooking now. Um, because at five o'clock, by the time five o'clock rolls around, I am I am hungry. Uh, Stephanie's here as well. Nadia's having chili. I have ingredients for chili, uh, Nadia, and I'm gonna make chili one of these days. It's kind of weird though, because chili is such a long, takes so long. I don't think I'll do it on, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll record it or something and then post it after making chili because it has to simmer for a long time, but I like chili. And Diane's here, so everybody's here. Christine's here. Hi everybody. So let's get let's uh, let's get cooking while we're here. I'm gonna wash my hands to get started today. We are going to make it's another again easy easy meal. We're gonna we're gonna do um, spaghetti with marinara sauce. So spaghetti and tomato sauce. That's it. Although I thought I had spaghetti, but it's actually linguine. But it's okay. Doesn't matter. Pasta's pasta. So wash my hands. Don't forget wash your hands. So this recipe, super simple, right? Tomato sauce, it's basically marinara tomato sauce uh, with pasta. We're gonna start off, we've got, um, I've got a couple of cans of like, uh, these are whole, whole tomatoes and these are the ones, this is French. Um, this one has a little bit of basil added, so we'll try it, um, but no salt added. So whenever we buy canned stuff, we try and get, for the most part, stuff without any added salt. Uh, so we're not adding any salt to our diets. So there's that. Uh, and we've also got a can of tomato paste we'll throw in there as well. Uh, onion, yellow onion. Uh, we'll do, of course, garlic, lots of garlic. So we'll put that in there as well. Uh, so let's get started. Um, and then we do have some spices. So we've got some Italian mixed spice, basil, oregano for in the tomato sauce. Super easy. So we're going to do basically again into the, hopefully you can see, the instant pot, we're gonna use this to make the sauce. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in here because I can't read all of your chats. Um, so if you do have anything to say, um, leave me a chat, I always appreciate it. And then while you're waiting for me to get started here, hit the, oh, I just saw it go up, hit that like button. Always helps out for the channel. Lots of people here. Uh, give us a shout. I've never heard of Miss Nancy's Rumper Room. I don't even know, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Never, I've never heard of that. So we'll start off, what we'll do, first thing first, we're gonna cut up the onion. Um, now I should say, in order to save some kind of time, because we kind of do want the sauce to simmer for a little while, and we did obviously kind of just move here, and a lot of stuff is still packed, and I haven't dug out the big pot. I, I can't find the big pasta pot I had. So I actually cooked, and cooled off. I cooked the, uh, the, sp the spaghetti and linguine ahead of time. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you the way what you can do. This actually saves some time. So we'll make the sauce, we'll add this, but what, what I'm gonna do first, before we add the sauce on top, we're gonna reheat it, but we're gonna saute it with a little bit of garlic, some pepper, so it'll taste really good before we put the sauce on, and it will heat it back up. All right. I still don't know. If anybody can tell me what Nancy's romper room is, uh, let, let me know, because I've never heard of that. That's too funny. So we'll just dice this up. I like the sauce that I, like when I make the sauce, I, I don't, you don't want to, you don't necessarily have it, have it like super small diced. It's nice to have it kind of like a little bit chunky. That's what I kind of like. So. so we'll do it kind of like a larger, not a, not a fine, fine dice, just more kind of chopped, I guess would be the best, the best way to describe it. Because as we saute these, they're going to break down a little bit as well. So you don't have to worry too much. 
And the reason you're putting onions in your uh, tomato tomato sauce is what they actually do when you saute them. They're going to they're going to uh, caramelize and release the sh release sugar, so your sauce will will be will be sweeter. That's why some tomato sauce recipes you see like some some tomato sauce recipes will call for sugar. But if you just put like a, some more onion in there and, and make sure you saute off the onion to, to release the sugars, you don't have to add actual sugar into the into the tomato sauce. So little tip there. All right. Too young for rocker room. Yeah, I know Mr. Rogers. Um, never heard of the rocker room. Maybe I have to look at. I'll look it up later. Maybe I maybe I have seen it. If I if I can maybe if I see it. Um, I will recognize that show. Uh, Freddie, yes, I could eat pasta. We eat pasta a lot. Um, we'll even have it, like we'll make it and cool it up, make pasta salad. Jason makes a really good pasta salad, which I, he keeps saying he'll do on live one day, but he always chickens out. So comment that you want to see him kind of cook his pasta salad is really good, or penne salad. He makes a re really good one. Um, so maybe one day he'll actually, uh, he'll actually come on and, and make it, then I don't have to cook dinner. So we're gonna saute the onions in the pot. Uh, instant pot, our favorite, right, is saute. We can have that going. And then I'm going to put just like one, one or two garlic cloves in there. I'm not gonna put a ton of garlic in because at the end, I'm actually gonna saute it, the pasta in the garlic. So I just want to put a little bit in the sauce for flavor, but not, we don't need to put a ton because we're going to add it later too. And then for the garlic for in the sauce, again, we'll just trim the ends off. And then instead of, you know, chopping it all, chopping it all up, we'll just kind of, we're just going to crush it. So it's going to break down in there. We don't have to worry kind of too much of that. Put that in there. Super, super, super easy. Uh, it really likes. And oh yeah, I am. I got. Oh, I can't see it now. I do. I have my pajama bottoms on today. It's cold today in Calgary. It's like minus five. We're not used to this yet. So I have my pajama bottoms. They're my Canada uh, pajama bottoms I got for Christmas a couple years ago. So they have uh, Canadian maple leaves on there. They're comfortable. Uh, so we'll open up. Don't judge PJs. Exactly. Who? I bet you there's other people watching this right now that are in, that are in PJs. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So we'll open up the cans. So we're going to use two cans of tomatoes and then one can of the tomato paste. Freddie hasn't even sh showered. I shower. Well, at least, uh, yeah, I showered in already I just put on a clean pair of pajamas tomatoes you want to saute the onions until they are, uh, they'll go translucent. And you'll, then you'll know kind of ready when to put the tomato paste, or not, this is tomato, whole, whole tomatoes, and then tomato paste. Too. If you don't have like the, these, the whole tomatoes, you could also get um, uh, like the crushed tomatoes, kind of the same. Kind of the same thing. These just break down a bit more, and I like the Italian brand ones. Uh, they have they seem to taste better than like the the regular no name kind of brand tomato. So it's always kind of worth it to maybe spend a little bit more and get the get the nice good 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 tomatoes. All right. Already smelling good. Oh, 20, 
20, it's 20, uh, Susan, it's actually 20, it's not 25 in Delphi. You gotta be kidding me. Is it that warm today? Holy. I think you're, I think you're pulling my leg. Oh, fresh tomatoes in Italy. Yeah, that would be good. I don't have any fresh tomatoes to cut in there. I, I would, I would throw some in, but we'll put these two in now. We'll leave it on. We'll leave it on saute till it till it heats up and starts to bubble. Then we'll turn it down. Okay. And then always in the cans, you might get, you get a little bit left over. So the best thing to do is just put a bit of water. You don't want too much, and you just kind of swirl it around to get the get all the rest out of there on each one. Just kind of use everything. Up. What goes in there? We'll recycle these. And then the tomato paste will put it at the same time. Uh, not, Nadia, you, I'm, you're, I know you're, you're, you're from Italy, and now when did have you last had uh, fresh tomatoes in Italy? And yeah, Freddie, I do. We use this thing every day. Uh, it's good. It's good for breakfast. Like every, basically everything. Um, no, don't open Paul Newman's in a glass jar. So it's it's just as easy because you got to heat it up anyways. It's just as easy to do, like the sauce is basically, it's done, right? We just have to let it simmer now. The only thing we have to add in there, we're gonna add a bit of spice. Um, this is the dry, these are dry herbs. So uh, what you wanna do, you don't need, you know, maybe a, a tablespoon or so, the dried the dried herbs there. And then when you put any of it in, rub it, rub it on your hand. Like basically rub it and it'll kind of crush it up so the flavor comes out a bit more and let that go in there. So it's just basically now sim simmering. It's like, this is just as easy as opening a can of, uh, a can of tomato sauce. Uh, it's cheap, it's the same, it's cheaper because tomato sauce is, you know, and it's also, you gotta be careful because obviously we don't, going on and on about salt, but you can, a lot of the pre-packaged, uh, pre-made tomato sauces uh, don't have, like, do have a lot, of, a lot of salt in it. So that's not good to have. Um, and then they also, some of the different oil, like they're just not all natural. This is basically olive oil and onions, garlic, spices, and that's it. So, um, if you want to do something maybe a little bit different, if you had you know, to make meatballs, you could have meatballs and you could, you could put, them, you know, put them in there as well. If you have spaghetti and meatballs, uh, if you wanted to put some spinach in there too, you could have spinach, but we're just doing marinara. So it's just plain tomato. Uh, you can make some extra and then do different things with it, with leftovers. So that is going. We just want to kind of crush up the tomatoes because they're like Roma tomatoes, so they're fairly large. And they'll start to break down. And just keep giving it a stir. Now we want to turn this down. Uh, it's on normal right now. Uh, we'll go less. So we'll just turn it down to like a low, low, low saute. You can leave it open and it's just going to let it simmer. Now we'll get ready. And we will uh, chop up some more garlic. We're going to saute off the the pasta into uh, some garlic and olive oil before we add the tomato sauce on top to give it some flavor. Okay. So we'll do that. I do have to put pepper. I forgot that. And we just have to let that sit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice up some garlic. And 
I'll try and read your comments as we do this here. So Diana, yeah, crushed tomatoes is fine. If you don't like the big chunks, I find the big chunks, like the, it's just the Italian cans of tomato seem to always come with whole, like whole tomatoes and uh, just get used to it. But if you cook it enough, it just all breaks down anyways. So you don't have to worry too much. But yeah, crushed tomatoes, if you, you can just use that too. Um, you could even do, like you could even, if you have a little blender after, like one of those bar blenders, little like buzzers, you could buzz it and buzz, buzz it all up into um, into uh, more of a smooth kind of sauce as well. Whatever you like. I like I like everything kind of rustic and like a rustic cooking. It's just not as, it's, it's, it's kind of easier and it tastes just as good. So, so we'll do a couple of clo few cloves here at four. And what I'm gonna do with these, once I peel them, Just going to uh, sl like slice these um, like really thin. It's kind of as thin as you can because you don't. We're gonna saute it off, but you don't want like you don't want you don't want to chew on like a huge, huge, huge chunk of garlic. So kind of as thin as possible. You can omit this step if you wanted, but. I thought it would be good to add some of this after. So I'm just kind of doing like little thin, little thin pieces. And then at the end, I'll show you what we're gonna do with it once the sauce is ready. So we'll leave that there. Oh, Rocio's here. Hey, Rocio. Thanks for coming on. Holy, everybody's found us here. And who's, oh, everybody's on the line. So everybody say cheers. I have, uh, well, it's it's water out of a mug. This is my coffee mug I washed up, but I do, it's got my name on it. I've had this since I was a kid. Uh, let's go back here. I think I might have missed. It's hard to keep track of all the all the chats. I'm sorry if I'm missing everybody or anybody. Uh, I don't think I have. Oh, we're good. We'll see who's here. So new people. That's kind of neat. Seeing new people join in for the first time. So th thanks for coming out. It, and uh, what's uh, Rocio? What are you making for dinner tonight? Stirring. Now the tomato sauce we can keep. We've only been going for what twenty minutes, so it's. I mean, it's obviously not going to be, not going to be ready yet. But let it let it simmer for. As, you want to have it really simmer for as long as possible before you eat it. It, it would even be better with all the flavors coming out tomorrow. But you're not going to sit in here and watch me live all night sitting with a bowl of simmering simmering uh, tomato in the pot. Everybody seems to be having. Uh, wine. Oh, Jason's watching. He's watching there. He's, he's in the other room with Black Hat. He's uh, Black Hat sleeps all day, and so he's just going there and um, giving us some love. Everybody's having wine. Sounds good. Sounds good. This is probably the simplest dinner we've done, um, but we haven't had pasta here in a long time. And we bought we bought a whole bunch of pasta, so we've got tons of tons of pasta to uh, well, not tons, but bags, a few bags to use up. So we figured we might as well have it. Um, and we haven't had it for quite a we haven't had it for like about a week, so it's kind of um, overdue for pasta. We usually make it quite quite often, um, usually just with tomato tomato sauce. The odd time we'll. We'll do it with meat sauce, but I didn't have any ground beef to take out. Or I would have done that because I like having, I, like, I do like meat sauce. 
but no, I could I don't have any, I don't have any ground beef. I even looked in the freezer. I don't have any ground beef. So, but, uh, I did take out, uh, hopefully the weather's a bit better tomorrow. Cause I'm thinking of hopefully barbecuing. Cause I took out some chicken today and I'm thinking of making like, I got a pineapple in the fridge. So I was thinking of making a like, pineapple and chicken skewer, skewers with something. So that might be good. We'll do that tomorrow. That's, we're going to have chicken for sure. I just don't know if it's skewers yet. I have to try and hopefully find some. And then everybody, everybody now that was watching, I had like, I had a few people again, send me, send me more uh, pictures for all of what they ate and everybody sent me their dinner. Oh, there's Jason. He came out. So everybody's here. There's Stephanie's here. Nadia's here. Rocio's here. I can't, I wish it would show me a whole list of people that are logged in. Well, Freddie's here. Kelsey's yeah. watching, but she can't, um, she can't uh, comment for some reason. Oh, you have to log in, I think. Or she's not subscribed. Is everybody subscribed? <laughs> uh, Diane's here. Miranda's here. I think we've got everybody else. Uh, Susan's here. Let me go up. Christine's here watching. Uh, Melody is here, or was here, hopefully yeah, still here. Blockhead. And who else is here? Uh, Stella's here, or was here. Is Stella, is Stella you still here? Yeah, to, uh, yeah. So I'm I'm kind of learning this live thing too, Stephanie. Um, you have to. Uh, Rocio says, "Hold up." Uh, you have to. It works. Seems to work the best if you watch it like on your with an with an app. Oh, there's Black Cat. There he is. Because um, you can see if you're watching it on your with your phone or your iPad with the YouTube um, app, you'll see the live chat go over the screen. So you can. Then you can chat. Whereas I think if you if you have it turned off, if you're just looking at it in your uh, in your browser on your computer and you're not logged in to fate to, to YouTube, you don't see the you don't see the the the, the chat. That's that's what I think. Good real star, yeah. You should have just a live cat channel. Hey Rocio. That's right. That's right, Nadia. Yeah. He's hanging out. <clears throat> All right. So this is going. I'm going to taste it. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to put a bit of. You can also, in the, in the tomato sauce, if you like it a little bit spicy, you can put in some chili flakes. Too much. All right, so that's looking good. No, no cat hairs. No more cutting. We're all done. Oh yeah, so Nadia, yeah. So they watch on TV and then comment on your phone. I, the, the comments just work better, I think, on the on the app, other than the comments work better on the phone. On the phone, yeah, than on your uh, the comments on the phone are instant. Yeah, shows up shows up faster for the live the live stream. But all right, I still going to turn down uh, to like slow cook. That's just going to keep it warm, and then we'll get the pan ready for cooking the uh, pasta because we're actually kind of almost done. This is a short one today. Um, did anybody have any any? I know. I guess we. I didn't really talk before I asked. Questions. I didn't really, I, I, I said I cooked the pasta ahead of time. So what I did, you could do this, you could do this at home, is uh, you can you cook it ahead of time and then you, you when you take it out of the water, you, you, you know, you strain it as you would normally strain it. But then uh, to cool it off so that the pasta doesn't get over overcooked is cool it off with, uh, in cold water. Cool off the pasta so it's cold. And then what you want to toss in is a little bit of olive oil Toss it around, and then that way it won't it won't uh, it won't stick together as it's as it's there. And then you can actually just put it in the keep it in the fridge, cover it over. It's it's going to be fine for a couple of days. So if you wanted to use it, uh, the, you know, cook it, cook like we cook the whole the whole package. We won't use it all tonight. We'll cover it up, and then we'll be heated up tomorrow. To have it out, um, Nadia. Yeah, you you missed the spice part. So I put in like some mixed uh, dried dried Italian herbs here. 
um, and then put them into the into the um, the pasta. Uh, do you cook? Oh, good question, Christine. Yeah, cook basically the same as you would norm normally, however you would normally would like it. The, the secret is to cool it off as soon as possible after after you are fit, after it's cooked to how you want it. Because if you let it cool off from hot, like slowly, it's going to kind of keep cooking, and it will get it'll just get kind of fall apart. Um, on that. So yeah, kind of you want, and then when you just, if you keep it, make sure you put, make sure like, make sure you do put olive oil into it. That way it won't stick together in a big, like in a big glob. And that's why you want to cool it off too. Cause if it's hot and cools off, it will just solidify into a big, especially spaghetti. It'll just be a solid ball of, 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 dough, of pasta dough almost. Anybody else have any other other questions with pasta? I don't. If you tell, I know. It, yeah, it's true. well. I know, I know. You have to go to Italy for actual actual pasta. I've never been to. I've never been to to Europe. Um, I know Nadia's been. Uh, olive oil on spotter cold. Uh, Diane, after the pasta's cooled off, that's what I put the olive oil in. Have I ever made homemade pasta? I, we did a pasta. Uh, we did a when we were in Mexico in Cabo last time. We did a pasta making lesson at one of the hotels there. Um, I have made homemade pasta before. It's a lot of it's homemade pasta is a lot of work. It's like a lot of prep work, um, but homemade pasta is like night and day over what you get from a, like a a bag at the grocery, you know, of pre pre-made stuff. So if you can ever make it, yeah. I don't have a I don't have a pasta roller, but when I used to work at the hotel, we made we did make pasta sometimes. Um, but it's like you never see, you don't see it here that often in like a lot of places. You need to go to like a really fancy restaurant to think to get to get homemade pasta because it's the labor to get it to get it done. It's a lot of labor to make make all the pasta uh, to be able to serve it. So that's why a lot of the restaurants here it's not 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 fresh unless it's unless it says but if you can if you can, if you can get the fresh people to make fresh stuff it's like it's really it's really good yeah that's a, that perfect season yeah once everything you know blows over we can actually have actual dinner like my idea for the channel is to like you know have actual dinner guests here hopefully and maybe like maybe gabby will join me in one of these um one of these dinners and be able to make it and show us and then we can and then we can eat it so that would be good um, with a few people here now dear my your what makes the best homemade pasta hmm we have to get gabrielle to give it to yeah that's pasta. what that's what they were just saying oh yeah. Yeah, yeah so i'm going to turn on we're going to slot what we're going to do is in the saute pan we're going to saute off uh with olive oil and then the garlic that i chopped and some fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna saute off the pasta that I cooked to heat it back up and then add the sauce to finish it off and then we're gonna eat. What's Stephanie having for dinner? I don't know, Stephanie, what are you having for dinner? I wonder if your mom could mail some pasta. I can't really mail pasta, I guess. Are my cooking pans expensive? <laughs> they, <laughs> no, they, they, well, they weren't cheap, cheap. I mean, they're, they're, um, but we've only got a few left because they, they, we've had them for, we had, we've had them for a long time and they were, we probably had them 12 to 13 years. But what happens is the box, like the bottom, <laughs> yeah. the bottom's copper and the bottom started to come off. Um, so I do need to get a new, a new set of pans. I do. Um, but you, yeah, you want to get something decent because you, if you're banging them around a lot, they just don't, they don't last. You're better off buying, oh, there's Rob. Oh, um, hey, Rob. you're better off buying a, like a good set because it's going to last you longer. Like the set, this part of the set is probably 15 years old now. And it's now we're, we need to actually replace them because some of the stuff, um, to buy. Uh, what will I buy? Um, I, 
I, I don't know if you saw the first episode that I did, Susan, but the pans that I like to buy, I always kind of say is make sure you buy a, a soft, like pans that have all metal handles because if you end up putting them into the into the oven and stuff, you don't want plastic. Um, and they seem to last, to last longer. Um, these ones are KitchenAid, KitchenAid ones. I think when I bought them, they were, the whole set was probably, gosh, probably like four or 500 bucks for like the set, right? So you want, you want to spend, well, you want to spend, uh, you want to spend, you don't want to go cheap, cheap. You want something with um, a, a, like a solid, solid, like a solid pan that's going to last, it's going to last you. I saw a really, actually I was, we were out before we kind of got onto lockdown here. I saw a really nice set of pans in, in Canadian Tire here actually. And they were, uh, what brand were they? Lagostina, I think they were. And it was like a copper set. And they were, they were like, I should have got, I should have got them. They were like, they were like a full copper pot set, like 65% off, like no more than that, like 75% off. It was crazy the price that they, they, I think it was like almost like the wrong price. Um, but I didn't get them, but I remember looking at them. What room is this? This is the kitchen. My kitchen, the kitchen after doing a show is like the cleanest my kitchen has ever, our ki kitchen has ever been e ever because every night we have to do a, a live show and um, people watching. So it's like, it has to be kept spotless. So it's kind of nice actually. No, I have pants on, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us pull it together around here. Yeah. <laughs> we judge. Everybody's judging. That's too funny. That's right, Rob. <laughs> So the sauce is almost ready. I just put olive oil into the pan. I'm gonna heat it up so I can saute off the saute off the garlic. Oh, the cat got oh, some tape, some uh, some box. We have still boxes here, and he got he got tape or something sticker on his ball. I came running across the room. And I sorry, I saw Steph. I think Stephanie said she has. Tacos or something? I gotta go steak. Yeah, steak tacos and Mexican corn with mayo and tagine. That sounds really good, actually. Really that sounds really that good. Really high. Can we get a close up? Yeah, you can go in there. Here, I'll show you. I'll get the dunk. Give me a bottle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the other one's sleeping. She's sleeping. It's done. Here's the other one. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Get that off. Yeah, the cats are famous. More famous than me when they're out here. So one, Jason's getting in front of the camera now. So one day he'll be actually, be, we'll get him to cook. So in the pan, heating up the, heating up the oil, we'll put, we'll, I'll put a bit of the, I'm not going to put all the garlic because I'm going to save some and we'll cook some for tomorrow, but just a few small handful. And then you want to saute it off so it's not as, not as bitter on there as well. I did wash my hands, Nadia. Good, good call. I, I think I've, everybody's probably in the same, the same thing. How many times did everybody wash their hands today? It's so dry. My hands are, are like, are, are so dry and it's dry in Calgary. So we're not used to this, the dry weather, but must have, must have washed our hands like 30 times today. And then what we're gonna do is put on the, yeah, everybody's hands are cracking. 
some pasta. This is enough for two people. good with like sauteed with garlic and uh, some olive oil and like cracked pepper on its own if you need like a really quick snack good for lunch and maybe like put on you know get put some ch uh, cherry tomatoes or something in there and just toss it in quickly and have that for lunch that would be good Yeah, the cooktop's kind of weird. We've had one of these in our places for a while, so they're they're okay. You get used to it, I guess. Gas is always better though. We'll put a bit of sauce in the in the pasta. ready and uh oh, there's 21 yeah oh the do the like the, the, the flip yeah you can try it yeah okay so turn that up that's that's heated up enough so what we'll do to finish before we go I'll just show you. Let's put everything into a into a into a bowl, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll eat. I don't know if anybody followed along with the same the same recipes, but uh, if you're on Facebook or somewhere later, like send me the send me a picture of what you made for dinner. I would like to kind of see what people are having. Um, bonus if you if you do one of the same things that that I'm making. What I'm starting to do is put the video up uh the night before so tonight i'll post for tomorrow and i'll put the recipe on there uh what the ingredients are so if you have them you can maybe join I can, in i can do it the next salad. jason said he might do pasta salad tomorrow so we'll see so there it is this is it basically done now to finish it off you can always put like what you would normally, if you wanted, is you put like some some grated uh, Parmesan cheese if you have it. We don't have we don't eat really the cheese because of the, the salt in it, so um, we don't have to put that on there. But we will have. You could also make garlic bread, something like that. Um, you do want to put maybe a bit more pasta sauce if you like it saucy on top. Like so, and I'll put some pepper. No pepper on my hand. No, no pepper for Jason, but I'll pepper. Uh, if you have, uh, if you have fresh Parmesan, you could use this, the same thing. I think so. I sent this to Stephanie, a link to this, the zester. You can actually do it with the, with the cheese as well. So that works good. Uh, so fresh, fresh Parmesan cheese, that's it. So we're done. Uh, quick fast dinner. Hopefully everybody is going to start cooking their dinner and has a good dinner planned as well. Thanks for joining in. I, thanks for yeah, Christine. I could, I could make my pasta salad tomorrow. My jalapeno, uh, jalapeno and uh, walnut salad. It's really, really, really oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. So Jason's going to do stuff tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll see. Oh, he says yes. And then, then he chickens out and says no at the last minute, but no, thanks for coming out everybody. If everybody could, is here, it would be, we're going to try and do this every night. We haven't given, no, not, every night. not every night, but we haven't given up yet. As we're like stuck in lockdown, we're going to try and maybe do it. But um, we still got lots of food in the freezers and stuff. So we'll do, so we'll do some different things. Uh, appreciate all the comments. It's kind of cool. It's nice to see everybody. We can't see everybody in person. 
And it's nice to hear what everybody's, you know, everybody's I'm starving, not here. Everybody's doing well. I'll get Jason his. Thank He's you. gonna go. But um, <laughs> and uh, uh, thanks for joining us again. We're gonna eat. Hopefully, you have a good dinner. And we'll see you on the next video. I appreciate everybody joining in, like I said. And stay safe. And as we leave it, make wash sure to wash your hands. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.